Zion Cobra, and today we have a special, special video for you guys today. Uh, I've seen a lot of, a lot of videos over the past couple of days about people, people's orders being being canceled uh, over the the Air Jordan Four Bread Reimagined. Their orders being canceled, so I had to double check to see if mine's was canceled because I got mine strictly from. Uh, the sneakers app and uh, it was still it was still showing up so I went to check see if it was still here went to check if uh, see some updates put the little updates in make sure you know I get the notification get the text messages when my package arrived literally two minutes ago as soon as I'm making this, this uh, video I get the notifications that it was just delivered, ran to my door, grabbed it. I got it right here. Uh, all my videos technically are kind of genuine because I want to have my genuine reaction. I want to have you guys genuine reaction because I have not seen this. I've not seen this shoe in person. Never seen this shoe in person. I've only seen videos of it. Um, this is going stupid, stupid crazy as far as these shoes, these sneakers go. But I'm all for it 100%. But without further ado, let's get into these sneakers, shall we? All right, so got the knife in hand. Um, yeah, so fun fact before I do actually get into this video, this unboxing actually, but uh, this is a bread four. I've never had a bread four, I've only seen a bread four. Um, the 20, put this down before I fucking cut myself. These are the things on. But um, 2019 was the last time Bread Fours were released. Uh, I could, I didn't get those because I had to work that, that day, that Saturday when they were released. I had to work that day early in the morning, so I couldn't leave and get them. My buddy at the, my buddy, K Mac, shout out to K Mac, he actually ended up getting those getting those shoes. I believe he still has that pair, but he was on the fence of actually getting this pair, uh, mainly because he still has his 2019 pair, and that one is suede, whereas though this, this is leather. Um, however, I will say this, though. When I didn't get the Air Jordan for the bread, 2019 breads, that more so pushed me for the 2019 release of the bread 11s so i didn't get the bread fours i must get the bread 11s that's kind of how that's kind of how things kind of worked for me and then i ended up getting uh my first pair of fours that i ever bought was the uh cool gray fours and i had those for a very long time at the time uh fours feel really awkward on my feet that's why i was only my only first and only pair of fours, which was the cool gray fours that I that I purchased. Uh, I've seen other fours come out. The military blacks look pretty look pretty cool. I was just really thinking in my head uh, the pain because it, it just felt I just it don't hurt. It just felt weirdly awkward, like like that awkwardness of like putting your shoe on the wrong foot, like that awkwardness. But shoes on the right foot. Don't get me wrong. Um. But yeah, so I looked around. I saw those uh, the SB fours. I heard I heard those were pretty those were pretty nice. But I I wasn't really feeling them. Really wasn't wasn't really feeling those at all. Not really feeling them at all. It's just I tried. I failed. I said I moved on. I wasn't going to pay the resale. None of that shit. Ain't going for a stupid amount of money. If you still have them, I did see people wearing them. But I feel like now with these coming out, people won't wear these as much. So, yeah. Okay, so got the box in hand. Basically a reverse. Got the cement on top, black on the bottom. My box, I don't know if anyone else's box is like this, but my box is a bit dented over here. I'm not really complaining about it too much. Um, but uh, retro, this is the Air Jordan 4, black, red. Submit gray size 12. My personal pair, my personal pair, sign personal pair. Um, but yeah, like I said, I haven't had a pair of fours since the cool gray fours, and those were 190. 
that shows you how that how you know the last time I bought fours that was 190 that sounds like a lot of money now nowadays everything is a lot of fucking money nowadays okay so I kind of pushed so what I'm doing is I'm just pushing this shit in because it's I don't know it just feels weird and I it was, it was bothering me a little bit but let's get into the shit First, first impressions of this shoe. This is really freaking nice. This is really nice. I don't know. I thought this was going to be like a little more stiffer, but it's more. It's not. Um. So, one thing that I watched a lot of other YouTubers talk about was um was that this is a whole kind of brand new shape. So the, the SB4 was more of a comfortable Jordan 4 that they had used. Um, I've only seen the SB4s maybe once in person and they were really hard to find as well. So especially at like other resale shops, I have not seen those in a while. Like I said, once or twice, but nothing like this. The I will say this, the videos that I watch do not do this to justice. This looks really nice. I like I like the the back tongue of this. This is pretty cool. Um, little small little D, some little small little defect like right here. Um, but at the end of the day, these are gonna get worn. Um, I'm not one of those crazy people that doubled up, tripled up, fatal up. That I know I saw a YouTuber that had that, that fucking that got it. They got like ten pairs, ten pairs of these. So, yeah, got your Nike on the back. Can't you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with the Nike on the back. And then just the bottom of a four just looks crazy. Cause remember, like the cool gray, cool gray. I believe this was all gray with the hints of like yellow on this particular area. This area, I think the I think it was yellow on the Nike Air. I believe it's been a while since I had a cool. Gray. Like I said, it's been a while since I had a Jordan Four. But yeah, man. So just gonna check out the other shoe as well. Bro, these shits is dope. These shits is dope. Now, off the rip, and I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, off the rip. When they first showed images of this particular shoe, I was like, hell to the no. Mainly because the images, sometimes when people release these images, the pictures, be dookie, they be, they be trash, they be dookie, they be corny, and like, you be like, I can't, I don't know, maybe because how it, how, uh, it took a picture, and I think it's this picture, like, upwards, and it was just, like, fail like this, and he was like, oh, okay, but then when you start, people start getting pictures, and they start getting the shock drop, the shock drop releases, and they start doing videos of that, this shoe comes in justice, and it looks really, really nice, it looks really, really good, the, you know, price point on these was, you know, not cheap. Um, Jordans are Jordans are going up now. I seen someone. I seen a video where some guy completely isotoned the whole shoe. I'm not sure why we're doing that. As crazy, I mean, it's your pair. You do what you want with it. Um, I don't know. I'm not doing that. Um, I honestly don't know when I'm gonna bust these out. I'll probably bust these out like. Maybe next month, a special. I, there's a special day coming out next month, the 23rd, well, 27th. Um, but I might bust these out that about around that time. Uh, these are really a nice ass shoe. Like I said, I never had a bread four before. The reason why I got the bread 11s because I missed out on the bread fours, so that was like more of a, a win win for me. But so, and then the day. It basically took me about know, four, five years to actually get a bread for in my collection, and I still have the bread elevens in my collection as well. That was my first shoe that I actually started out with, the Jordan Eleven. I did a story about those years ago, and now I have a story about this as well. Got these off the sneakers app. It was got these off the sneakers app, and uh, this is weird because I don't really win. I don't really get a W when it comes to shoes like this. 
shoe like this, popular high-end top shoes like this, like the Gratitude 11s, they were popular because maybe it was the holiday season, everyone wants to get that new holiday uh, Jordan in the year, Jordan, the Jordan 11 is always like the popular at the end of the year, but they was also still sitting. These, they might have a little couple, they might have here and there, a couple grade school, a couple uh, preschool sizes, but as far as men through websites, Hell no, you can't find a sign like that. And I have not had the best of luck. Now, like I said, uh, a video prior, 2024, I'm trying to make 2024 my year for sure. So I always have my shoes pinpoint, like pointed out of what the next shoe I want for my collection. And it's another pair of fours. Those military blues, that's the shoe I really, really want. That is a shoe that I really, really, really want. And once I get the military blues, if I get the military blues, that's it. That's my last shoe. I'm not getting anything else for this year. Um, I'm only just going to work on uh, stacking my money. And uh, yeah, but you know, that's it. But hold on. I've been talking way too much. Let's get into this actual shoe, guys. Let's get into this actual review of this shoe. I know I'm talking way too much, but let's get into this. Let's, let's get into this review. So, off the rip, checking out the bottom of the shoe. You got that classic Air Jordan 4 bottom gray, white, hints of red all over the shoe. Like, it's called, it's, this is called the bread people. You can call these the bread, or you can call these the black cement, because these are technically referred to as uh, the black cement. Me, that's a lot of words. I'll just call them bread. Uh, you can call them whatever you want. You can just rename them if you want. You know, sometimes people rename these sneakers. Um, but I will say, but I will say this. People say they refer they refer to this over the 2019, which was a suede pair, I believe. It was a suede, new buck. I believe it was a new, new buck pair. I refer for this because it's easier to clean. You can just wipe it off, you know, and this leather. This leather is stupid soft. Stupid soft, you know what I mean? So, um... I'm impressed, dude. I'm I'm impressed. I'm happy that I actually got this shoe, not only for retail, but through a W through the sneakers app, you know? Uh, last time I got a sneakers app, W was the Gratitude 11s, which I was really surprised on that one, but they did have extra pairs. These, on the other hand, also had a lot of pairs as well. I believe they said 500,000, 500,000 pairs, half a half a. I think it was think it was five hundred thousand pairs. However, I tried for Foot Locker. Foot Locker said absolutely not. So my best bet was was a sneakers app, and uh, a sneakers app came clutch for me. And I can say that this works perfectly. But anyway, you got this all over suede. No, <laughs> all over suede. What am I tripping? You got it all over leather, and this leather feels really really great. Now, uh, I did see other videos that saying this is a technically a new shape so he took the shape from the, the the shape from the sb4 that came out last year that pine green one um and people that tried this on said it's really really comfortable am i going to do a review or i'm, I'm sorry am i going to do a uh, on foot i'm not i'm really not i have other things i got some i got a couple things i gotta do today um like i said a few i've been living in this apartment for about two weeks two three weeks now and i need to get some things from my apartment so uh i got a mattress on the way i got i'm trying to get in um uh oh my god words i'm try <laughs> trying to get some new things into this uh, apartment but uh yes this definitely works with my collection and it's funny too because the shoe the number one shoe that i've been rocking with right recently is my uh aqua fives i don't know why i've been wearing my aqua fives more often than all my other shoes that i have and you know i just love my, I love my aqua fives but i'm gonna try but these these for sure special occasion jordans these will be i'm gonna I'm a definitely bust these babies out next month march 23rd i already have plans for march 23rd bust these jordans out i'll even bust them out for the 27th but, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of people did videos on this particular shoe. This shoe is A1, A1, A1 sauce. If you weren't able to get this shoe, 
or if you can't if your shoe got canceled i feel so bad for you guys you know that shit is corny no one wants to see that i have had orders being canceled and that shit it it, it, it sucks it's sucks. i mean you get your money back but still this is the product that you want it's the product you pay for and i'm pretty sure that full locker and all the other uh places kind of didn't really expect the hype they didn't i didn't i don't think people expect these shoes to uh sell out but i honestly did think these are gonna sell out mainly because it's a bread can't go wrong with black and you can't go wrong with a og colorway now i know we had the motorsport alternate which is basically like this but instead of the red we got the blue um i saw a video unbreakable unbreakable kicks uh basically just say this is literally just that this more sport alternate which i've seen back in 2017 is not another shoe that's another shoe i never really wanted for real for real it was just just there these were a must because bread and it's also reimagined always add that in there so reimagined and the fact that i now have two reimagines the one that no one likes and the people that really likes <laughs> it's dope so i have the <laughs> the royal reimagines which no one really loves and i had to show it some love because not only that i got this i got that for under retail but having another royal and my having another reimagined in the collection is dope i'm I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm be honest with you guys, I'm going to be starstruck, and I, this video was not supposed to go as long as it is as it's going, but this, this is dope, this is dope, I'm banging with, oops, I'm banging with these sneakers, I'm banging with these sneakers, I like this hang tag, I always wanted one of these growing up, I always wanted like a, a Nike, like, Nike Air hang tag, and I know I, I definitely have one now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably put it like with my keys or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I do know is I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this shoe. Because at the end of the day, you pay for it. You do whatever the hell you want with it. I wear my shoes, you know. Um, you know. But I, 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 I would love a Travis Scott thing in my collection. That's probably not going to happen. But, um, but yeah, man. Did you guys let me let me know? Did you guys do you have your pickup for the Air Jordan for Bread Reimagined? Do you have do you have these? Did did you get them through the sneakers app? Did you do a pickup? Did you did your shit get canceled? Unfortunately, because that's been what's been going on recently. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share that share this video, everything. Of course, my name is Cobra. I'm also a sneakerhead, and I post videos about any goddamn thing on this goddamn channel. Make sure you guys leave a, make sure you guys leave a like button. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, like and subscribe. Make sure you comment too. And I want to hear y'all voices and everything. And can and shout out to y'all for making me hit 500 subscribers. I'm trying to go up, 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 and keep going up, 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 up. So you know, but. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, the next video will literally be about the military blues. If I get if I can get those. But but until then, I'm Cobra. Peace.